I greet you with so much love and gratitude, dear soul. I'm Kenneth, your spiritual brother. There is a deeper reason why we are connecting in this now moment. Thank you for following your inner guidance, and I thank your higher self for guiding you. I am honored for the opportunity to serve you and co-create with you. Thank you for your trust. Setting boundaries is an essential skill to practice. Yes, it is a skill. It is learnable. It's like training a muscle. When we start using it, it will strengthen. This session will activate the courage, power, and wisdom within you to set the boundaries that are in integrity with your heart and your soul. You got this. Let's start. I choose to access my power now. I choose to access my wisdom now. I choose love now. I am conscious and aware of my ability and my right to set empowering boundaries. No matter where I am or who I am with or what choices I have in front of me, my integrity guides my way. I choose to center myself in the core of my sovereign power. Setting boundaries is my responsibility. When I do communicate my boundaries, others might not understand or respect them. How I respond to this is also my responsibility. I have the ability and the courage to set even stronger boundaries. And I am standing my ground, grounded like a mountain. I am protecting and shielding my energy with fierce love and wisdom. My life force is valuable. It is sacred. I honor life. I am life. I let my voice be heard now. I am allowing myself to step into the heart of courage. I am confidently setting boundaries. I am setting boundaries with a smiling heart. I am now invoking pure love light wisdom to shine its light on all the situations where I have neglected myself to please others. Setting boundaries is a sign of self-love, self-worth, and self-respect. I detach from the need for approval, understanding, or agreement from others. I am sovereign. I am free. I am connected to the living light codes of God's source. I am good enough. Always have been and always will be. Some people don't set boundaries because they believe that it is selfish. Setting boundaries is a reflection of love. Love is the opposite of selfishness. Other people's expectations are not mine. Other people's rules and opinions are not mine. I have my path, and they have theirs. I am love. 
I can never lose something that I am. When I decide to set healthy and clear boundaries, it affects all of my established relationships. Those that are unconsciously or consciously choosing to react negatively are fearing the consequences my boundaries will have on them. They fear losing control. They want things to stay the same because that feels safe for them. They don't want me to change. They may try to guilt trip me, shame me, and project their fears onto me in an attempt to get me back into playing my old role that they are familiar with. With this knowledge, I am ready to stand my ground and wield my sword of love, light, fire when I need to. I am consciously aligned with peace, harmony, compassion and courage when setting boundaries. The unity I seek is one with myself. I choose to unite all aspects and fragments of myself and realign all of me with source energy. I am unity. I am sovereign. I am free. I am gracefully opening my consciousness to divine truth. I am setting boundaries like a boss. Setting boundaries is the act of love that requires me to cancel, delete, and detach from false programs that define self-love as egoistic. Setting healthy boundaries from the heart is an act of loving kindness and compassion for myself and others. I am much stronger than I think I am. I am a powerful being. I activate and align with my source power now. With courage, confidence, peace and fierce love, I say no when I mean no, and I say yes when I mean yes. I stand my ground. I am authentic and honest with myself. There is no need for me to hide from me. With authenticity, honesty and integrity, I am stepping up the game of boundary setting. I am taking this game to a whole new level. If someone cannot come to terms with my boundaries, no matter how clear and loving I am, then our relationship may have come to a dead end. Not all relationships are meant to continue in the same form for the rest of my life. Maybe it is time for this relationship to change form. I am choosing to accept this reality and detach from all external rules, beliefs and limitations about what is the right thing to do. I connect with the love in my heart and the wisdom of my soul and I courageously make the decision that feels right for me. 
I am setting this boundary now for the highest good of all souls involved. I choose fully the authority of my higher heart, my higher self, and the law of one to remind me of my higher path. I am shedding layers of untruths from my identity. I am upgrading my physical body, mental body, emotional body, and spiritual body now. I am a being of divine light. I am a being of divine light. I am an embodiment of divine love and consciousness in physical form. I choose to honor that truth and integrate it in my belief system now. I am of the infinite love and the light of the one creator. I cancel and delete false programs that have been installed in my subconscious mind that are not in resonance with the law of one. I am unity. I am sovereignty. I am free. I live my life aligned with the timeline of peace, unity, and love for all organic life. I do not avoid conflict by giving in to other people's unbalanced expectations. I only manifest more of it. I choose to cancel, delete, and deactivate this pattern now. Setting boundaries is a gift to myself and others, for it opens up the opportunity for healing, learning, and growth for every soul involved. I stand my ground. I am grounded like the Himalaya mountains. I inhale peace and harmony with every breath, and I exhale peace and harmony into my surroundings. When I set boundaries from a place of love, I inspire others to do the same. I am blazing the trails for others to follow. I am aligned with the sacred leader within me. I love myself. I respect myself. I accept myself. I value myself. That's why I am setting healthy boundaries, courageously and confidently. It is safe to face the tension and triggers that come up in the process of setting boundaries. How other people respond is not my responsibility. It can feel like it is, but it is not. Yes, my choices, my words and actions may trigger others, and how I handle their response is my responsibility. I am facing the tension with confidence and ease. I feel through it. I heal what needs to be healed by feeling through it. I am learning the lessons that I am ready to learn. I stand in love light fire, grounded and aligned with my higher heart and divine peace. I listen to outside sources with discernment and heart, and I choose to filter out advice that feels out of alignment. What I feed my body is my choice, 
always. What I feed my mind is my choice, always. I am standing strong, bold, and aligned in the flame of multidimensional unity, sovereignty, and freedom. I trust my higher heart, my body, and soul. I trust myself. I am stepping up, showing up, and speaking up on behalf of myself and humanity. I listen to my soul. I trust. If I could see the boundaries I set, I would see the flames of love light fire burning powerfully bright. I am a truth seeker, seeking to live the highest truth. Somewhere along the way, I picked up on beliefs, rules, and opinions of others, and many of them have become my own, without my conscious consent. And now I am conscious. I am awake. I am aware of the fact that I have 100% responsibility to reprogram my mind. With new empowering beliefs, rules, and opinions that support who I choose to be and how I choose to live, in alignment with love, unity, sovereignty, and freedom. I am choosing to stand in the flame of courage, courage to speak. Courage to act, courage to let go of old stories, people, places, and things that are not aligned with my highest purpose. Courage to attract into my life people, places, and circumstances that are in full alignment with my highest purpose. Now. I choose to set powerful boundaries. Why? Because I can. That's why. I invoke the organic living light codes of love, power, and wisdom to penetrate every fiber of my being. I now transmute all entanglements into the love. And the light of the One Infinite Creator and the Law of One. I am Source Essence. I am Sovereign. I am Free. I show who I am in full colors. I am tough, kind, radiant, and beautiful. Here I am. See me shine. Feel me shine. Hear me roar, my truth. And I want to ask you to put both your hands on your heart and just breathe in and out of your heart. And I'm doing the same as we co-create together now. We are breathing in the same light. It is the same living light that we are breathing. Imagine that we are co-creating the most brilliant light, a ball of light that is spinning, spinning with the purest love. And as we breathe into it, it grows, it evolves, it spirals out. Imagine it bursting into millions and millions of pieces, and these millions of pieces are seeds of awakening that will find their way to our brothers and sisters 
that are ready to awaken to the next level in their soul evolution. Thank you. Thank you for co-creating with me. We are here to shine. We have chosen to be here at this time for a reason. I believe in you. I see and I feel the light in you.